guys, welcome to week 12 of the Homeschool Prayer Challenge. My name is Sarah and this is my channel, Blessed Homeschool. Today we are going to be talking about and praying about trusting God with our finances as we homeschool our kids. Growing up, I had always assumed I would follow the typical path of the traditional family I was part of. My husband would have a job, I would have a job, and our children would go through daycare, public school, and eventually go through this cycle with their own families. For a while, it looked a lot like this. I got married, had kids who went to daycare, and was a public high school teacher for many years before I took a leap of faith to begin a business of my own. I can't tell you how nerve wracking it was not to have that stable income, but I knew that it was what I was being led to do. Fast forward a couple of years to when my oldest son was about ready to start kindergarten. I was running my business full-time from home and knew that God was calling me to homeschool my son the next year. I wrestled with taking a step backwards from my business for a couple of years to get my feet wet in the homeschooling world. I wanted to follow the Lord and devote myself to this new challenge, but I feared how in the world would we get by with a decrease in our income? The good news was God knew the answer to this question and I prayerfully realized that as long as I followed him our family would have whatever resources we needed to carry out his plan for our lives don't get me wrong this certainly doesn't mean that we always have everything that I want like anyone else we have to make responsible choices and make sacrifices at times but it's so comforting to me to know that God is sovereign and in control of everything, even our finances, and he will meet our needs according to his good and perfect will. Every homeschool family has their own story regarding how they handle and manage finances. Many homeschool families might have only one income or one parent might work from home while homeschooling at the same time. Some balance working outside of the home while homeschooling. Some parents might be scared to even begin homeschooling though because of financial reasons. Maybe they feel God's prompting and see all the benefits, but are worried about paying bills, and being able to afford curriculum and resources. Trusting God with your money doesn't mean that you throw all caution to the wind. You have to ask for wisdom for the Lord to lead you in the direction that he wants your family to go. This is true for whatever stage of homeschooling you're in. But there are a few things that we can keep in mind as we prepare our hearts to surrender our finances to God and truly trust that he is in control. The first thing to remember, we are stewards. It changed my way of thinking when I realized that my money is really God's, given to me to manage. We are not owners of our money. We are stewards. Psalm 24, 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. So what does it mean to be a good steward? I think ultimately it's the understanding and believing that what Psalm 24, 1 says is true. Everything is the Lord's. When we have this viewpoint, we realize it's not just the money we give in the offering plate that's God's. It includes all the rest we have. Sometimes we can get caught up in materialism, even in our homeschooling. Knowing that we are being trusted to manage God's money well puts our decisions and budget into perspective. Second thing we need to remember is to use our resources wisely. When we realize that we are stewards of God's money, it should naturally follow that we want to use that money well and not waste it. There are so many resources that we have to choose from in homeschooling and using our resources wisely does not always mean choosing free or cheap curriculum. I think that one of the beautiful benefits of homeschooling is being able to choose resources and curriculum that work best for your family and your children. But we should always be prayerful when choosing materials and curriculum for our homeschools. A great place to start is figuring out what method of homeschooling suits you best. This can help you narrow down options before you get started. If you are looking to save or reduce your spending on homeschool supplies, there are a lot of great options. Consider utilizing online materials and unit studies, sharing curriculum with friends, and checking out your local library's calendar of events. You can also find many great homeschool printables for free online. The third thing to remember is to practice cultivating contentment. When we learn to trust God with our financial situation, we learn to find joy even in situations where we have to get by with less. It can be easy to get sucked into someone else's vision of what homeschooling should be and think that we have to be the same way or have all the same things. When in reality, every family and situation is different and we need to stay grounded in the decisions we make for our own family. In the end, our true identities lie in Christ, not in our homeschools or the material things we do or do not have. Practicing gratitude and being content with what we have will go a long way in trusting God with our money. Okay, number four, have a plan. Having a plan for your money, or in other words, making a budget, is a wise way to be responsible with where you are allocating funds. I truly wish I would have learned to budget at a younger age 
it would have helped save me so many problems with money. Create a budget for your homeschool so you can plan for where your money needs to go. I use the Every Dollar website to create our family budget each month, and I have sections set up for different funds that we may use in our homeschool. So a fund for curriculum, field trips, supplies, etc. In the midst of all your planning, you guessed it, be prayerful about it. Talk to God about your worries or concerns about your budget and planning for homeschool expenses and seek his guidance. Finally, number five is to keep an eternal focus. Overall, we must remember what our end goal is in homeschooling. It's not about having the best curriculum, going on the most spectacular field trips, or even doing this whole homeschool thing the best. We must never make a habit of valuing these things over our calling to bring up our children in the training and instruction of the Lord. Let's keep an eternal focus in all we do, homeschool mamas. When we align our priorities with God's, we will always be on the right track. And when our heart's desire is storing up treasures in heaven, we will want that much more for how we spend our money to reflect that. How we use our resources and manage our money is important to God. And what a relief to know that we don't have to carry worry about finances all on our own. If we are able to trust God with our eternal salvation, I'm pretty sure we should trust him with our bank accounts. He can handle it. Let's seek his wisdom this week for how we are to use our money in our homeschools. Let's rest in knowing that he will provide for our needs and that we can place our hope in his promises, which will last forever. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, you are Jehovah Jireh, my provider and my ultimate treasure. You are always faithful to meet our homeschooling needs, including what we need financially. Forgive me for any greed, discontentment, or selfishness in my heart, and for valuing the material things of this world over heavenly treasures. Help me to align my financial practices with your will and trust you to support our family in our homeschool journey. Replace my worries about money with faith. Give me wisdom in managing our spending and help me be a good steward of the gifts you have given our family. Thank you for your daily provision and your everlasting love. I pray I will keep an eternal focus and seek you ahead of the things of this world. May you be glorified through our financial habits and our homeschool throughout the year. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Friends, that's it for week 12. Again, thank you so much for joining me here. I pray that this time is a blessing to you each week. If it has been, please consider sharing this playlist and this challenge with a friend. You will find the links in the description below. Go ahead and log into the challenge website to print out your prayer for this week and your free Bible study sheets. Use these during your daily intentional Bible study to help you learn the weekly scripture verse. Dig into it a bit more and reflect on how it will affect your homeschooling this week and in weeks to come. I'll see you next week when we chat about homeschooling with a biblical worldview. Have a great week.